All right, let's talk Peaky Blinders Season 1, Episode 5. Um, that was a great episode, man. And I'm not one um, to brag, not one to brag, but I did call it from like, I think like the two episodes in, um, or maybe it was the first episode that I said that this is, Grace is going to be that love interest for Tommy. Like I saw it coming. Because they're the first time they interacted, I saw it, and this this is not to say that maybe some of you guys didn't pick it up or see it so early or you like to be surprised. But when I'm watching TV shows, especially when the TV show is so dialogue heavy and there's not a lot of quote unquote action, you know what I'm saying? you have to pay attention to a lot. It's the same thing that when I was reviewing Game of Thrones, people were like, oh, you watched the show already. And I'm like, no, I haven't. Well, I'm what I watched before, I didn't even remember it. I told them, I, I told them from the get-go, from like the first episode, before I started watching the first episode, I told them. I watched up until season four. I don't remember if it was the beginning or the end of, of season four that I watched. Um... I don't think I got to the end because I didn't see Tyrion kill his dad. Like, I never saw that. So, it was somewhere in season four I stopped watching Game of Thrones. And, and it was years ago when it was, you know what I'm saying? When it was just going on and it was like I was watching it sporadically. It wasn't like I was binge watching it or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like I forgot all about it and I stopped watching Game of Thrones because I never saw it. It wasn't that intriguing to me at the time because I wasn't into the lore like some people. Now I'm into the lore and now I'm a super fan, right? So people used to say, oh, there's no doubt he watched the show. You, you know what I'm saying? He is, And I wasn't even predicting everything. It was like just, just some plot points that I saw that if I was writing the show is what I would write. You get what I'm saying? And people was accusing me. And I'm like, that doesn't even make no sense. So here I am again making another prediction and it came through. Okay. I saw it coming because I saw the chemistry. It's how high I would write it if I was writing it. And as I said, I have a background in certain things. I've written um, I've written a screenplay before. I've seen how other people write. And first of all, my, my biggest experience coming from just watching a ton of TV shows. And... Sometimes I know you guys must have experienced this before where you're watching a show and you're like, oh, that's going to happen. This is definitely going to happen. Or you're watching a movie and you're like, man, this is so cliche. It's just how it is. It's still great to see on screen if it's a great show. But at the same time, you can predict it. You might not want to say it out loud because you don't want to be wrong. But I like to do that because it's even more interesting when you realize, oh, you're right. You know what I'm saying? It makes you feel a little bit giddy inside. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's all that happened here. Um, I could make more predictions about this show if you guys would allow it, but I'm just going to stick to that one. Um, I also saw um, when he, I also saw him having some sort of weird relationship with Grace because I was asking, I don't remember what, where it was, maybe like two episodes ago, I was like, what's their relationship? It seems kind of like he's having some sort of feelings for her or something like that. That's what I was saying. But they confirmed it in this episode um, with him proposing after she decided to leave and ask him, listen, if I get you these guns, leave Tommy out of it. And from the minute that I saw her start, um, the, the, the protection started when she came out guns a blazing to um to save Tommy. I think she knew, as I said before, as I stopped the video and I was talking, I said, I think she knew that they weren't going to come in until maybe somebody is dead, right? And they were supposed to come in on the sixth chime of the bell. So I don't know how many times the bells, bells chime. For clocks at midnight or midday or whatever um but they were supposed to come in on the sixth time as tommy said when they came in and they didn't because they they showed the scene when he was out there he's like listen we don't care we're not going in we're gonna stay out here until something goes down right so um you don't care who get hurt let them kill themselves and then we'll go in so she came out guns blazing and 
she got one of them, but the other one, um, and she protected him. When she reported the incident to the inspe to Inspector Campbell, she was like, listen, I was the one that killed them both, and Tommy pulled me off of the other guy. You know, so she protect protected him there again. So I knew the relationship was developing, right? Um, didn't expect it to escalate that quickly. I mean, from the last episode when they shared that kiss and she was like, I'm disappointed. I don't know what she was talking about right there, but something else happened, right? So it's, it's, it's crazy how this, how this episode turned out to be one of the best episodes of the season. Um, it would have been a great way to end the season, but also, um, I want to see what happens next because they have to be going to war with the IRA after this. They have to be because they killed one of their best men. He came in threatening Tommy in his own house. I mean, I I'm glad that Tommy's having some sort of peace. Arthur went through a great ordeal. He should have saw that con coming. I don't care if it's your daddy. I don't care if you if it's your if you if it's your mom, your cousin, your brother, your sister. You should see anytime you see people out of your life for a long time and they come back in and within a a very short time they start talking about they start talking about borrowing money, never give it to them. It's a con. They're trying to get your money and bounce again. Okay? So you never do that. It's 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 like it's con one oh one. You know, I saw that coming, I saw the setup and 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 I called it. So um it it's it's just how I view things guys. It's not I haven't watched the show already, so please don't accuse me of doing that. Because I've I never even heard of this show until I did the live stream and you guys told me that there's a show out here called Peaky Blinders. I, I don't even know because I don't watch I don't watch any I don't watch any shows that um from BBC actually. I've never watched watched a show that was on the BBC network because I, I I don't watch English shows like that. Like I've seen shows with English actors. I was asking them if The Crown is good. Um, there's other shows with you know mainly English act actors out there, um, but I've never really watched any. I think I was watching The Royals, but they canceled The Royals. Um, it was a really good show to me. I couldn't wait for the next season. And then when I checked, because I was like, it should be the season should have started by now, because they usually start somewhere around in December, but. I went to check and they canceled the show. And th and that's one of the worst feelings in the world when I I don't think it w no, it wasn't on it wasn't on BBC. It was a it was a a show on E, right? I think it was on E or I don't remember what You guys can let me know what channel actually was showing that um that actually aired the Royals because I watched it on I watched it on demand. So I didn't I don't know I don't remember what channel i was watching it on i i don't remember but anyways um it was a good show but now it's canceled um so it was a very good episode man episode five so I, i'm i'm hyped to see what they're gonna do for episode six how they're gonna wrap up the season because i thought this was a good wrap up <laughs> you know but i'm interested to see what's gonna happen what inspector candle campbell is up to because he says he has one more issue to take care of. I think he's going to go after Tommy by himself. Um, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he's going to go for himself. Um, as, as I said, Arthur went through a great ordeal there with his dad. I understand why he was so gullible towards his dad because his dad, he trusts his dad. And, you know, Tommy has a better head on his body to understand certain things. because And, and it's so weird, the dynamic, because he's the younger son. He's the younger of the two. Arthur is the oldest. So it's so weird that he didn't pick up on that. But, you know, he tried to kill himself. And I, that's exactly what I was thinking in the scene, too. I was like, I was just thinking it. I was like, I hope he doesn't try and hurt him, hurt himself. He tried to kill himself, failed. And, you know, I was laughing just like how Tommy came in and was laughing at him. Like next time use a d gun, dude, because he can't even do that properly. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, but to me, suicide is a coward's way out to me. If it's if it's pills that is making you do it, then that's different because then you're influenced by something else. But if you choose to take your life 
over just life being hard and you're stressed out, I think it's a coward's way out. And and I don't care what nobody has to say. I don't, I don't, a lot of people, listen, I'm not making fun of suicide. That's not what I'm saying. Um, suicide victims are very real. It's a big problem in the world today. Um, but I, because life can be stressing, but I still think if you commit suicide, you're a coward. Just, just, that's just my opinion. If you're going through stuff, you need to figure out a way to deal with stuff. And if you can't handle it, all it does is leave a bunch of people behind sad and mourning for you. That's all it does. Right? And if you have somebody who's contemplating suicide or have done suicide attempt, um, attempts, you need to gather around, gather around that person and show them love beyond anything. Beyond anything because that's what they need. They need love. You know what I'm saying? They feel like their life don't matter. That's, you know what I'm saying? I want to talk about this because, you know, I know people who have had suicide attempt and they're like, me and them is like this. I said, listen, if I'm anywhere and you, and you need me, you know what I'm saying? You know, my number, if I change my number, I always let that person know that I changed my number. You get what I'm saying? So all that person needs is love. And I, t and I told Dever, I'm one of my closest friends, and I've told I've told him. I said, "Listen, if you decide to, to to do this, it's a coward's way out, man. It's a coward's way out. You know. Because I get it. Life is hard. Life can be hard. Life can be stressful. There's things in your life that can drive you towards having these thoughts. But I still believe that if you decide to do it, it's a coward's way out." We all, I, I believe everybody that, he, as I said, if it's not like a, if it's a situation where, when, when it comes on to, if it's you're influenced by a, by a, 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 a certain medicine or, or a pill or something like that, then it's totally different in that perspective um, because, you know what I'm saying? But if it's a stress, depression, stuff like that, I believe that. If you know that this person is going through something, you need to get them help and stuff like that and let them understand that that is not the way to deal with it. It's just not. It's just not. I will never believe that suicide is okay. It's not okay. I'm not going to make... Um, if you've had people that has committed suicide in, in, in your life, it's a whole different, it's a whole different story. Um, a lot of people might feel differently about it but i still believe that the way how you're feeling about it right the way how you feel about it is totally different because now you have to leave to deal with that grief and now you're wishing you could have gotten through to that person you are now you're wishing all of this other stuff you know what i'm saying and j i'm telling you i'm telling you man it's a tough situation when it comes on to suicide, I don't want to go all too deep into it because it's, I just feel like I just feel like when people can't deal with stuff, when they can't deal with life, I just believe that suicide is it's not the answer, man. It's just not. And it's not a it's not even a moral thing. It's just. It's just I just feel like it's just it's just you're just a coward for doing that. We have to seek help. And a lot of people, they don't want to get help. When they, when, you know what I'm saying? They won't call a, you know, a suicide hotline. They won't try to get help. They won't tell people that they're being depressed. And if they do, shame on the people that makes them feel stupid for getting help. Shame on them. You know, um, as you guys can see, I'm, when it comes on to stuff like this, I'm very passionate about stuff like this. And I'm just giving you guys my thoughts on it. You guys might disagree. Um, it's, it's a very touchy subject and I hate, I don't like people. I don't want to say I hate them, but I don't like people that make people who are contemplating suicide. They make them feel even worse about their situation in life and stuff like that. I do not like people who do that. Right. Um, but at the same time, you have to be real with them. You get what I'm saying? Be real about it. But don't be stupid about it. Don't laugh. You get what I'm saying? Don't laugh about the situation because it's a very serious situation when people are contemplating taking their own life, right? Um, 
that's that's just what I have to say about that. But this these at this episode was really nice. I like it. Um, I love this episode. It was great. Okay, so you guys can let me know what you think about it in 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 the um in the comment section. Of course, thank you guys for listening as always, and as always. Um, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Remember to to subscribe to the channel. If this is the first time seeing one of my reviews. Subscribe to the channel, man. Leave a like, leave a dislike, whatever. You might not agree with what I'm saying, whatever the situation is. Um, comment down below, as always, and we will see each other next time. If you have not seen the reaction yet, the link is down in the description. Go ahead and watch that full reaction, baby. Let me know what you think about the episode. It's your boy, Terabyte Reacts, and peace.